give you a little bit of background, a little bit of work, and then run a meditation with you around how to use the um, how to use the dark and the new moon in order to bring about changes in your life, to create your reality, bring about your goals, that kind of thing. One of the reasons I decided to, or uh, we decided to work with the moon is there's a consistent to it, consistency to it. There's moon phases every month. Now, in magical senses, there's seven moon phases which offer different energies, which offer different opportunities. And within those moon phases, you can work in different ways in order to work on your goals, change your life, empower your magic, create new realities, create new experiences for yourself. Um, and the, the thing about the moon, you may have noticed when we put out on our page or on Facebook in general, um, is that it's... It's absolutely incredible. Just pictures of the moon just catch everybody's imagination. Everybody loves the moon. Everybody's got a relationship with the moon, and which is exactly why we wanted to start there, because, you know, it's consistent. You can work on it every month. It's there. The magic is available. You can really work it. Today, we're going to concentrate on two aspects that go together, really. The dark moon, which is where we are at the moment. The moon is hidden, if you like. And um, the new moon and work from there on in. Um, the thing also about the moon is, and uh, moon magic, is that it's been practiced moon magic for thousands and thousands of years. It's part of our collective consciousness. In a way, we kind of all get it. In a way, even if we don't know the details, we understand that the dark moon is about getting rid of obstacles and destroying things that are um, hindering or making your path difficult. Uh, we understand that the new moon is... Um, really about that kind of new beginnings, new opportunities, new creations. We all kind of intuitively understand that, even if we don't know the details, because we've all really got a relationship with the moon. Um, <clears throat> and if you look sort of back in history, so many of our ancient religions right across the world work with the sun and the moon. You know, they see all of that as a, a kind of approach to how their lives worked and is still very much in the human psyche in the human collective consciousness today it's so easy to work with the moon particularly uh, because it's so available to us also like the sun and the stars obviously which is why of course we built this facebook group um historically the moon has been seen nearly exclusively not a hundred percent but nearly exclusively historically the moon has been seen as the goddess the feminine divine um you can kind of see why there's a relationship between the feminine divine and um, the tides and uh, in the sea, in the oceans. And you know how we kind of all relate water to emotion and the movement of emotion. It can be gentle, it can be soothing, it can be cleaning, it can do all of those things. But it can also be very powerful like tidal waves or whatever. And like our emotions are those things they can be loving they can be incredible they can be angry they can be furious so there is that kind of relationship with it also as i'm sure most people on this call know probably better than me um is there's a very very big link between the phases of the moon and um feminine menstrual cycles um and it's very very powerful in that kind of sense particularly before the invention of electricity, or I say the invention, the discovery of electricity, um, when we were working much more to do with candle lights rather than electric lights, and the relationship between the moon and the menstrual cycles that um, almost every woman um, <clears throat> was synced into the movements of the moon for their menstrual cycles and how powerful that whole relationship is between your body and, uh, and the natural world in that kind of way. Um, even if you think about it, in a lot of cultures there's this myth of a man in the moon where people have imagined a man in the moon. But if you think about it, that myth is really that the feminine, that, that woman gives birth to man. The man's inside of the woman and as soon as he's born he can have a new and separate life. But it comes out of the woman, it comes out of the feminine, it comes out of the goddess, which is why it's... Um, so powerful in that way. I'm looking down here because I've made, obviously made some notes rather than try to remember it all. Um, there are a few ancient traditions, um, and he uh, and you know they are very kind of 
they work with the moon, they work with the sun, but sometimes some of them see the moon as masculine. For example, in ancient Egypt, the god Thoth, who was responsible for, you know, the introduction and teaching humankind magic. He was responsible for um, writing, mathematics, all the intellectual discourses, was also the god of the moon. So there are some situations where... You know, the moon isn't seen as feminine, but primarily the moon has been seen as feminine, has been seen as the goddess. So why would you work with the moon? Why would you work with the moon spiritually and magically? Imagine. Imagine if you could reach out with your left hand and destroy all the obstacles that are in your path. Destroy all the things that are actually stopping you create the life that you want to in the way that you choose. And then reach out with your right hand and create everything anew in the way that you would actually choose it, in the way that you would build it. Working with the moon is like that. It's really, really powerful. It allows you to move energies within its cycle. Um, so imagine a time in your life when you could be in control of everything that happens, the experiences you choose, what you have, etc. This is very much about the magic of the moon. It's the movement of that energy there. You continuously move the things that come in that are in your way and recreate again in very powerful ways. And then later on, um, in a few months or whenever, we're going to we'll do work around the full moon, which is the, the birth of all of those things, the power of working in those kind of ways. This is a power. This is the moon work is a power. It's you can dream your life in a way that fills you with ecstasy, with fulfillment, with joy, with commitment. It leads you to higher and greater, and more incredible experiences and it empowers you. It empowers you to create the life that you choose. It empowers you to create the life that you want. Flowing with the cycles of the moon allows you to create a series of monthly practices. Now, any exercise of any kind in any part of your life requires a consistency to build a relationship with it, to build the energy with it, to build up your practice in order to have more and more power in order to master that practice. And working with the moon is no different. The moon cycles are so useful. They create a constant rhythm because they happen every month, supporting you to keep your magical and spiritual practice consistent and therefore more powerful. Building your connection this way allows you to call on the energy of the moon to empower your spells, rituals, clairvoyance and magic. Following, flowing with the moon's phases will empower you to realise just how incredible you really are. All of us have these powers um, built and buried within us and all of us have access to control and power over our own lives and how we experience things. So let's start a little bit with the dark moon. The dark moon are those three days leading up to the new moon. The moon's hidden. You don't see it in the sky at night. Um, the energies are related to the opportunities to harness the power of destruction. You know, so you can use the power of destruction. You can use it in, in any way you choose. But for example, you could use the power of destruction to move all obstacles out of your life, to move everything that's in your way for you to um, step up, you know, into another level, you know, it gives you the power to change your beliefs, you know, those beliefs that are limiting the ones that says you can't do this, you're not very good at this, you can't manage this, you can move them all with this energy, um, you can literally shift anything that stands in your way, you can access power that's hidden and that's the whole point of the dark moon it's not so much what you can see it's what you can imagine that's already hidden and you can use that to shift everything out of your way and also for those of you who are interested you can use it to develop your mediumship for example of you know um talking to your dead grandmother or somebody else's dead grandfather or whatever in um, some people like to work that way it's also a time for personal and spiritual renewal. You can call those energies of renewal to you and renew yourself and empower yourself. Um, it allows you to move everything that inhibits you from the realisation of your goals with both instinct and passion. And also... All of us have this uh, temptation sometimes. It gives you the power to work against your enemies if you should so choose. The new moon, the new moon is tomorrow, tomorrow night. Or yeah, tomorrow night for all of us. It is the power to step into new choices. 
to new beginnings and undertakings, to new endeavours, to rebuild and empower relationships, to step up to challenges and step beyond them, trans um, transcend those challenges, to focus on a new path, to rise above your challenges, to put the energy behind your goals. I saw this very, very interesting quote yesterday and it said, every time you say I can't, you create a servitor. A servitor is um, an artificial spirit. Um, and in that name, it stops you doing what it is you choose. Um, so the new moon and the dark moon are wonderful to move all of those blocks out of the way and to re-empower your goals, your aims, etc, etc. Um, here is a quick little mantra for you before we do the meditation. All opportunities are opening for me as they present themselves. I'm ready to say yes, yes, yes. I'm going to lead you into a meditation in, in a moment on the dark moon and on the new moon and how to work with those energies so I can give you direct experience of working with spirit. But first, let me say, let's work with the meditation and then I'll be open to any questions that any of you have about this material, about how to work with it, etc. for 10, 15 minutes. And then we'll bring this wonderful call, our first call on the magic of the sun, moon and stars to a close. Anyway, get yourself relaxed. Get yourself in a place that you can close your eyes and follow this meditation. Now, I'm going to talk in the ways of seeing things. But what I'm talking about is activate your imagination in the way that you naturally activate your imagination. So if your imagination is visual and you see things in your mind, make that OK. If your imagination is auditory and you have a whole imagination experience through words, through stories, but you don't necessarily see, make that OK. And if your imagination is kinesthetic, that you feel the whole thing, um, in that kind of way. Make that okay as well. There's many people have got this thing about visualizing that they're worried about, they can't visualize. Think about it like this. When you look at yourself in the mirror in the morning, how do you know that's you? Because you have a memory of what you look like from before and you visualize what you look like so you can recognize yourself. We all do have that ability. Just relax with it, enjoy it. Anyway, take a deep breath. Allow your eyes to fall closed. Follow your breath around your body with your mind. And as you relax, breathe out. Again, breathe in, following your breath around your body with your mind. And while breathing out, relax. One more time, breathe in. Follow your breath around your body with your mind and relax as you breathe out. Focus your attention now on the place where the air meets your nose. Breathing in, breathing out, relaxing your body. Focusing your attention on the point where the air meets your nose. Breathing in. Breathing out, relax. One more time. Focus your attention on the point where the air meets your nose. Breathing in. Breathing out, relax. As you breathe in, imagine a beam of light and darkness coming down from the hidden moon filling your body through the crown of your head and surrounding the outside of your body like a fluffy cloud as peace, calm, knowledge and relaxation fill your being. Feel the power of the dark moon bring you joy, happiness so profound that ecstasy fills your soul Again, breathe in the beam of light and darkness, filling and surrounding your body like a fluffy cloud as peace, calm, knowledge and relaxation fill your being. 
Feel the power of the dark moon bring you joy and happiness so profound that ecstasy fills your soul. One more time, breathe in the beam of light and darkness, filling and surrounding your body like a fluffy cloud as peace, calm, knowledge and relaxation fills your being. Feel the power of the dark moon bring you joy and happiness so profound that ecstasy fills your soul. On your in-breath, keep breathing in the light and darkness from the hidden moon. On your out-breath, exhale and a thick mist as worry, fear and relentless restlessness move away from you and power, instinct and focus fill your mind as the power of the hidden electrifies your body. Again, breathe in the light and darkness. Breathe out the mist as worry, fear and restlessness float far above you and power, instinct and focus fill your mind as the power of the hidden electrifies your body. One more time, breathe in the light and darkness of the moon and exhale, exhale the thick mist as worry, fear, restlessness move far away from you and power, instinct and focus fill your mind as the power of the hidden moon electrifies your body. Feel relaxation spread down from the crown of your head, down through your head and face. Feel your jaw relax and relax the front of your throat and the back of your neck, relaxing your shoulders. Feel relaxation spread down the front of your body and down your spine, down through your thighs and down your legs and into your feet and toes as the dark moon releases every obstacle to your empowerment and growth. Imagine you have a screen in your mind and on that screen you can see the number 13. Imagine the numbers 12, 11 and 10 drifting deeper down, filled with the power and the relaxation of the hidden moon. 9, 8 and 7 down, down down into the ecstasy of your hidden primal self. Six, five and four, drifting down deeper now, down into the place where your soul actualizes and you're filled with the most profound knowledge. Three, two and one, deep, deep, deep relaxation passion and instinct and knowing that you are so powerful. In front of you is a dark brown oak door with your name on it on a golden plaque next to a silver image of the crescent moon. Pass through the doorway, closing the door behind you. On the screen of your mind, see the edge of a large forest at night. Up ahead, a little way off, you smell a fire in the clearing you're heading for. There's no moon in the sky, but the firelight reveals the silhouettes of numerous trees. The screen of your mind is merely a veil between this world and the next. Pass through the veil and find yourself on the outskirts of the forest. Sense the energy that, forest, that the forest puts out, inducing fear in strangers at night in order to protect itself. Silently in your mind, call out to the forest. Spirits of the dyads, we're kith and kin, brothers and sisters. Allow me to walk through the forest in peace and love. 
Place your hands on the bark of the nearest tree and feel its textures. Sense the breeze rustling in the leaves and smell its aroma in the air around you. Walk through the forest now, feeling grass and twigs under your feet, a slight warmth on your face and a breeze on your back. As you reach the clearing in the forest, see the huge bonfire, flames reaching the sky. The clearing is filled with people dancing, chanting and beating drums, celebrating the hidden moon, celebrating the power of the hidden and the energy you can pull toward yourself to renew your life and manifest your goals. Join the dance, feel the energies filling your body, feel the ecstasy in your soul. The drumming and the dancing stops. A robed priestess steps forward and all attention is turned towards her. Let us ev evoke the angel of the moon, she declares. Turn with me and face the east. As everyone turns, turn with them. We call on the guardians of the watchtowers of the east. Be here and enliven our sacred circle. Guardians of the watchtowers of air, on the winds come, she evokes. In your mind, see, feel, imagine. The sylphs, the spirits of the air, eagles, air, air dragons, condors, and all of the creatures of the air of the skies arriving. Turn with me to the south, the priestess declares. And as everyone turns, turn with them. We call to the guardians of the watchtowers of the south. Be here and empower our sacred circle. Guardians of the watchtowers of fire, on the flames come, she evokes. In your mind's eye, see, feel, imagine the salamanders, the fire spirits, the angels of flames, the fire dragons, lions and creatures of flame arriving. Turn with me to the west, the priestess declares. And as everyone turns, we call to, we call to the guardian of the watchtowers of the west. Be here and purify our sacred circle. Guardians of the watchtowers of water. On the moisture come, she evokes. In your mind's eye, see... Feel, imagine the undines, the water spirits, the water snakes, the whales, the dolphins and fish of ocean and river arriving. Turn with me to the north, the priestess declares, and as everyone turns, turn with them. We call to the guardians and watchtowers of the north, be here and ground our sacred circle. Guardians of the watchtowers of earth, on the land come, she evokes. In your mind's eye, see, feel, imagine the elves and gnomes and fairy folk, the earth dragons, angels of the land, foxes, wild dogs, bears and big cats arriving. The priestess bids everyone to turn inwards, so everyone in the circle is facing across the fire, quietly, Almost in a whisper, she begins a chant. Et sel malakel, tes tel santanel, it threats namatel, it's hell esterel. Kamakala, 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 santanel. Sariol kama, sariol kala, sariol kama, kalavel. May vas kala, may sovala, may ras talaratantel. Et sel malakel, tes tel santanel. It threats Namatel, it's hell Asterel. Kamakala, 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 Santanel. Sariel Kama, Sariel Kala, Sariel Kama, Kalavel. May Vaskala, May Sovala, May Rastala, Artantel. Et sel Malakel, Testel Santanel. It threats Namatel, it's hell Esterel. Kamakala, 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 Santanel. Sariokama, Sariokala, 
Sario Kama Kala Vel, Me Vas Kala, Me Sovala, Me Rathtala, Artantel. Imagine a seraphim, an angel of fire, flaming sword in his right hand, both beautiful and terrible at the same time, descending into the circle. Use your mind like a zoom lens on a camera, zooming in and out. Give yourself permission to see him, hear him, feel him and sense him. Whichever way you sense spirit, allow that to be correct. Amplify the way you perceive this situation. Sharpen, brighten, dim, move nearer to or further away. Activate your taste, smell and emotion. Activate your vibration to match this terrible and beautiful patron of the moon. The radiance of this angel is dazzling, all at once overwhelming, yet at the same time you find you can't look away. His power mesmerizes you, excites you. He's a giant and oozes power like you've never known. His voice seems to resound through the whole forest and clearing, vibrating through every microorganism, cell, bone and organ in your body. Feel your root chakra burst open, carrying power up through your body as the chakras in your groin area, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye and crown vibrate with delight. Your soul bursts through your body in an ecstasy beyond all you've ever experienced and your personal energy vibrates as one with him and everyone present in this clearing in the forest. Just as, you, just as you're vibrating as pure power and spirit, you come to know with an undeniable certainty that you're a creature of power magic you're limitless in every way by your thoughts words emotions beliefs and wholeness there's nothing you can't achieve every fear thought of limitation sense of impossibility melts away in the alchemy of your power you are indeed omnipotent such is the awesome power of the dark hidden moon. The great angel of the moon points his fiery sword to the east and with its flames a huge door appears, a door of fire on the circumference of the circle. Pass through the doorway, his powerful voice commands. Pass into a new night, a new moon. Step into your choices, your new goals, your new you. Fill yourself with the power of the new moon. Initiate yourself for change and growth. As you pass through the doorway of fire, you find yourself in the same clearing, in the same forest. Focus your attention now on your goals that you've set yourself, the magic that you're creating in your life. Notice the crescent moon in the sky just a slither of promise. Gaze now on the new moon, that awesome slither of power in the night sky and allow other considerations to fall from your mind and vanish. See its magnificence, sense its awesome power of your initiation into a person who creates your own reality, your own life, your way, your unique and powerful spiritual and magical path. Continue gazing on the crescent moon. Let it dominate your attention. While holding your gaze, allow your most important goals to be realized in your mind. While looking at the crescent moon, see your goals come into fruition as if they had already been achieved. Focus your path on what needs to be done, thought and felt 
in order to bring your goals to concrete manifestation in your life. Reaffirm your choices once more as you hold the gaze of the crescent moon. Keep your mind on the moon and your goals as you hear a whispered chant in the air around you. It's Ratu Mantantu Vespacha Kaltamu. It's Ranta Mankala Mat Atsu Beltasu. Vescala Rat. It's Ratsu Kantantu Velchatsa. It's Ratu Mantantu Vespacha Kaltamu. It's Ranta Mankala Mat Atsu Beltasu Vascala. It's Ratsu Kantantu Velchatsa. It's Ratu Mantantu Vespacha Kaltamu. It's Ranta Mankala Mat Atsu Beltasu Vascala. It's Ratsu. Cantantu Velchatsa. Gaze for a moment longer at the crescent moon. Breathe in and see your goals successfully completed as you exhale. Silently, in your mind, repeat after me. It's done. It is done. Thrice it is done. Starting at the crown, close the top chakra gently. Close the third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, groin chakra and root chakra at the base of your spine. Focus your attention on your heart. See a beam of light coming down from your heart, down through your body. Travel down with the beam of light as it passes out of the bottom of your feet, into the land below. Travel down with it as it passes through the top layers of the earth, the broken rock and rubble. Down past the tree roots, moving down and down. Down past the bones of our ancestors and the colour and hue of the earth changes to a darker red and brown, down, down, into the molten rock and lava near the centre of the earth, down into the fire at the core of Mother Earth. Allow the fire at the core to burn through you and around your aura, purifying and making you whole and empowering this new reality you've just created. Travel up with the beam of light now, pulling the fire from the core with you, back through the molten lava, up and up, through the earth, back past the bones of your ancestors, up and up past the tree roots, through the top layers of broken rock and rubble, up through your feet, legs, into your body and into your heart, your goals burning with passion in your heart under the power of the new moon, feeling yourself completely grounded, and powerful. Walk out of the clearing and back through the forest the way you came. As you come out of the forest, turn and silently thank the dyads, the spirits of the trees, and pass back through the veil. Find yourself at the dark brown oak door. See your name on the golden plaque next to the silver symbol of the crescent moon. Coming back up the steps now. One, two. Feel energy rising up from your feet. Stepping into the new choices about your life you've made. Three and four. Feel the energy rising through your legs, feeling the opportunities of new beginnings and undertakings. Five, six. Feeling the energy rising up through the lower part of your body, committing to your endeavours, your new relationships. Seven and eight. Feel the energy rising up to your heart, focusing on your new path. What is it you really choose? Nine, ten. Feel the energy moving into your throat, face and third eye reaffirming your choices to put all the energies that are needed to overcome obstacles to your success. 11, 12 and 13. Feel the energy rising back into your brain, feeling the absolute certainty 
of your success in every endeavour and goal you undertake. Open your eyes now. Return to normal reality. Affirm that you are incredible, limit, a limitless being of power. Open your eyes. Itrachu mantantu vespacha kaltamu. Itranta mankala mantatsu beltasu vaskala. Itratsu kantantu velchatsa. Itratsa mantantu vespacha kaltamu. Itranta mankala mantatsu beltasu vaskala. Itratsu kantantu velchatsa. Itrachu mantantu vespacha kaltamu. Itranta mankala mantatsu beltasu vaskala. Itratsu kantantu velchatsa. Welcome back, everyone.